Okay, guys, here's a new thing. Um, we've been working with a thing called the Darlington Pear. And the experiment that I have running over here that's been going on for days and days and days on that little uh, AA battery pack, it's um, going into its fourth day, believe it or not. Um, it just runs on two little tiny transistors that are what's called the Darlington Pear. And this uh, was invented by Mr. Darlington a long time ago as a way to magnify the uh, amplification by using two of these basically like in a series circuit but they actually make transistors called Darlington's and so I got one it's a a Radio Shack and it's a TIP120 Darlington transistor that has those two in there basically and that's the uh, the Darlington right there is a uh, just one transistor but I found out today you can make it do the, the the work of the two if you set it up right now I also discovered um, and learned that when you put a resistance across the base and the collector of a transistor you can alter the uh, amplification and this helps when we're trying to run these lights um, by being able to adjust the uh, power that goes through the transistor. Now I'm using a a rheostat on this side. It's the old 25 ohm rheostat to control the power. On this side over here, the one that's been running for days and days, I'm using a step down switching adjustable voltage regulator. That you use this little screwdriver here and you dial up or down the power. It's 90% efficient, and I think that's one of the reasons this thing has run all these days is because that is like a carburetor and it's leaned way down to about 5 volts about 20 milliamps this one over here is different but let me turn it on let me show you what, what goes on there's a bulb there and uh, there's the one over there and they aren't connected these circuits are not connected at all they're two different separate entities but they interact uh, with um, transmission of energy back and forth here there's the CFL on this circuit. You see that? That's drawing uh, 70 milliamps right now. Now this one over here is drawing uh, 20 milliamps at 5 volts. But this one here, what I was going for this time was I wanted more brightness, uh, pay for it with more power, but uh, just see what this Darlington would do. And uh, it's pretty neat. You can uh, use this potentiometer. It's a 1 meg potentiometer to change the light intensity and you can also use the, the, the voltage controller rheostat here to dial up power on it too make it brighter or dimmer but what's interesting is it affects this one over here too you see that one getting brighter or dimmer I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not but uh, these interreact somehow or another there's transmission going on between the two bulbs and, uh, and the two circuits and uh, one is affecting the other one so anyway something I wanted to show and share was uh, this Darlington and uh, I don't think it's a, a total answer for anything but it was an interesting experiment to see if you could incorporate um, the whole thing in just one transistor that's basically two transistors encapsulated in one it has a couple of resistors in it too um, but anyway, that's that was the latest experiment. I, I think this one over here is probably going to run, run down in the next 24 hours. It was sitting at about nine, nine and a half volts this morning, and it's kind of stayed there all day long. But these batteries have a tendency to do that; they'll hold their voltage until the bitter end, and then they just drop off real quick. But those are nickel metal hydrides, and that's a pretty good run time on that. And believe it or not, at night when the lights are off, you know, I'll turn the lights down. That actually has enough light to see by, and um, one of the project uh, parameters here was to have a light that, an emergency light that would last and be something very simple that somebody could make in an emergency for emergency lighting. And that little guy there will, will do the trick. Now this one over here is much better as far as brightening, but uh, they both have their advantages. Anyway, that's the latest, the Darlington transistor.
and pick it up at Radio Shack for less than two bucks. It does the whole thing.